Hi, my name is Isaiah Sachin. I uh, go to Sioux College. I am in the photography program. It's my last year and I want to be a photographer. I like taking the high fashion photos. I like using my creative uh, outlook on that. Um, be able to like set up a scene and then take it the way I want it to look. I'm more of a portrait photographer, I would say, but with a high fashion sense. Um, I mean, like I'd love to work for Vogue uh, or like any like high fashion industry. Um, and I think that's what I try to portray through my images. Uh, for my self portraits, I wanted it to just be the one light setup. I wanted it to be a good light ratio and uh, look really nice, but I wanted to kind of be intense, but not too intense. And I wanted to just to show how I like to take portraits. I like being in the studio, getting to know the person. So I like I wanted it to show the viewer of my image what it what I look like or what I am. It's about me. Uh, I feel when I'm taking a picture of a person, I want to portray who that person is, and um, not always what they want to be seen as. I guess you'd say. I really enjoy taking fashion photos. I really enjoy taking portrait photos. Um, I'm not opposed to weddings. Uh, it's not my favorite thing to do, but I mean, I'll do it. I like doing it. I like putting my own twist on things. Um, like I don't know. I'd, I'd like to see that I say that I see things differently, but I mean, like everyone says that. Uh, for my paid series, I had five of my friends come in, and um, I got the idea from a photographer named Rob Daly and uh, he had painted one of his models like which looked like tar so i took it and i decided that i was going to take my models and paint them all in white and then um, each of them would have a different color so they would come in and i would have the room set up like pretty much plastic wrap so i didn't get any paint on the equipment and uh, i poured like buckets of paint onto them and yeah it was pretty cool, it was a pretty cool uh, project. The textures that the uh, photo would um, portray would be more of like a statue, I'd feel. So I would have, the reason why I paint them in white, I wanted it to look like, I wanted the white to dry so it would kind of crack and then go over with the smoothness of the colored paint. So it would be like dripping down them. I kind of wanted to look like it was like, uh, an old sculpture that had just been, had a bucket of paint thrown on top of it just to make it look uh, different and more modern, I guess you'd say. Pick up a camera, go out and shoot. Um, honestly, if we want to be real honest, like I hadn't owned a camera until I came to see college. I bought my camera for the program. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was gonna, I honestly wanted to do TV and broadcasting. And then I told my mom like, long time ago, I wanted to be a photographer, I wanted to do this. And she was kind of like, okay, and then, but what about this? So, I was like, when I when it came down to deciding my course, I said, no, I want to be a photographer, that's what I want to do. Went out, bought a camera, came to school, and I honestly couldn't take a decent picture if it, to save my life, like the first week. And then after, I researched like these images, I researched, I was paying attention in class on the lighting. You just have to have the creative outlook for it and you have to shoot what you want to shoot, not uh, what other people tell you to shoot. For the high fashion shot I had with my friend Ave, uh, I wanted it to be really subtle in the way it looked, but really elegant as well. So I wanted to show her fair skin. So I used the white background and I had her hair pulled back and I wanted to have a little bit of contrast. So I asked her to wear a darker lipstick and yeah, I just wanted it to really show the softness of her skin. And my friend Brooke, who I had taken the close up shot of her face with the glitter, which was a hassle to get on and off. Um, I just wanted it to look more different, kind of like the cliche mermaid look, I guess you'd say. Um, so I lit that up with one light. It was pretty close and, uh, and she has these intense blue eyes. So I wanted to like accentuate that. So I tried getting as close as I could to uh, 
don't really show off the how blue her eyes are because they are like sapphires. So that's another reason why I used her as one of my models. For new models, I like to uh, I like to introduce myself, obviously, <laughs> um, and then make them feel comfortable. After like the five to ten minutes of like they know what like I'm looking for or like what I want the shot to look like, I I'll just turn the music up, like blare it, like the room you can't even hear me. We like we'll look at each other, like I'll tell them move, I'll go up to them, move them, and uh, yeah, it's just it's really fun. I think well, we just like have a fun time, like just dancing around the studio and. Um, just trying different things, like different poses and uh, different techniques. Like I'll be moving the lights around. And I'm just like, don't worry, like it's not you. It's like fine, just staying right there. Um, and then yeah, I'll just move it around and then just like laughing, good times. I just don't like once the awkwardness is out of the room. I just like to keep it that way. I feel that way. It's a it's a fun time. It's a fun environment. It's a, it's a safe environment for like, my model, so they don't feel like. I don't want to say threatened, but they don't feel insecure about themselves. They, they feel comfortable and uh, yeah, so the shooting process is definitely one of the most like fun processes. Um, and then they're excited after, they're excited for the post-production uh, to see the finished product. For my high fashion uh, series, I went with, I guess you would say more of a risque theme with the collars and the leashes. Uh, this one was hard to pitch to my friends to help me with. It uh, took a lot of convincing, but I think that once they seen and like understood, they were pretty much down for it. It was more of a, they trusted me in like how I would portray the images and I wouldn't portray them in a bad way or anything. But um, yeah, it was, uh, it was a really fun shoot actually. It was cold. It was mid-February, I want to say. So there's still some snow on the ground. And um, having people outside and with no shirts on, it was pretty uh, pretty cold. And um, so we had like wrap, people wrapped up in blankets. And it was more of a fast-paced shoot than my regular shoots, which uh, I like to bring music into the studio and just jam out and take pictures and that kind of thing. But um, it was a fun one for sure. I mean, they really enjoyed it. I haven't had any complaints yet, so. I mean, like, they, they like the, the, the post-production and the, the final products, and they're pretty stoked about it, and I'm stoked to see them happy about it. Um, as much as I do love taking the photos and being in that moment, it's my favorite part of it is seeing the reaction to what, they, what I did and how the photo looks. So I think that's the best part. Uh, for me, for uh, being a photographer is the end result.